hard to believe that this was actually level four days ago. Yeah. And today it's, they're not sure. So that's why I prefer to come with people because the other night we weren't home and my daughter came up and she said there was 10 cars out there and people just running all over. Oh gosh. And uh, I says, somebody could get hurt or you know how kids are when they see a river or a lake, they got to throw stones and stick, sticks in. Mm -hmm. And I says, uh, I don't want it disturbed until at least he looks at it. Right. So I says, maybe another week nobody will come and we'll just see what happens. I don't know. You know, it makes you wonder what's under the earth to make it. Heave up. Is it a yeah. bubble or? That's it was a flat rock there that could split open. Huh. Then I think that's hollow underneath there. Some of it is overhanging. Like yeah. This, I think. So I say, be careful, don't step to the edge. You might. Right. <laughs> On the way down, you can hit a stick and get stabbed or a broken leg or arm. I'm glad you were home. I took a drive from Iron Mountain. That root got tore off there, stretched for but all the roots that manage the ground together too. See, yeah. there weren't as many rocks in there. On uh, today's Friday, Wednesday. That was Wednesday night when all those people were up. So I don't know if it just just started falling in on its own or if somebody kind of leaped across. Nobody seems to know what happened out here in the woods, but the ground has come up five feet, leaving this large crack in the ground. Upper Michigan, Menominee. This is the Elmer for iReport.